What's up guys, now I'm Five Mang here doing a video today. Gonna be taking your advice uh, in this video from the last video. But let's go ahead and cover the new project that I've been working on. All those times that uh, I didn't put out a video. What I wanted to do is show you the other system that I have which is a 40 gallon breeder. I think this is actually the last time that I'm going to buy a 40 gallon breeder. This makes 40 gallon breeder number two or 40 gallon breeder. No, actually 40 gallon breeder number three and hopefully the last one. The first one that I got, um, I got it and I sold it to a co-worker. Second one was used as an emergency tank for Tim uh, and that one broke and then third one I just uh, took advantage of the dollar per gallon uh, Petco and this is the third one which I actually broke down and already sold to somebody else for exactly forty dollars the skimmer is a hang on back Aquamax skimmer legit skimmer if you guys are looking for something hang on back definitely recommend the Aquamax but uh, I'm still gonna keep that skimmer and I'm gonna use it every now and then not often on my new project this stand I had uh, made for me by my buddy Matt my bat buddy Matt is the same guy who made the acrylic tank and as you can see really nice solid and he sanded it down he used two by fours pocket pocket holes uh, using the Craig Craig uh, jig and uh, looks nice but uh, has holes in it what I'm gonna do is uh, stain it I'm not gonna actually show you guys the stain but I do like this uh, spare compartment accessible on both sides just take off that little piece of wood and I can hide all my junk there I could put an auto top off and the plan is to stick the acrylic frag tank from the last system on the bottom now a couple videos ago I showed you this new tank that I got where I actually got it kind of got in trouble for getting I took advantage of the uh, sale I had some points saved up on Marine Depot from you know all the stuff that I buy and I used that money to give me a discount on this 25 gallon innovative marine lagoon right now you're looking at it it's been like this for a while basically gonna stay as a frag tank until I set up my acrylic tank and then I might do something with this on top um, the light I do need another light um, I'm using the reef readers uh, coral box moon LED and uh, it's a legit light it definitely keeps coral alive um, it looks really good and it's Wi-Fi another thing um, that I have right here is uh, just a regular heater and I have some uh, pond matrix or matrix Seachem uh, I think later on I might get some of those trays the intank media filter trays but for right now this is what it looks like this tank uh, definitely needs some work but uh, it's gonna look sweet once I'm done you know you got to do things slowly and in phases little by little um, you can't just try to do everything all at once I got some of this Dragon Breath algae from my buddy Alan at the Coral Reef. Tell him 915 Mang sent you. And for every mention that you get and purchase that you do at the Coral Reef, you're going to get a receipt. But I got some of this Dragon's Breath. I have been looking all over for this stuff. Alan hooked it up. I got some nice chunks. And um, it's going to look good once it grows out even more. The frags itself, I still haven't hooked up uh, any flow to this tank. It's pretty much running on the flow that came with the tank I just basically set it up dump my frag plug tray in here that I got from a, a um, blue tight acrylics and uh, that's about it that's all I've done um, I got a couple of snails in here and no crabs or anything like that no filtration um, I am gonna change that up a little bit but uh, for now I'm gonna take this filter sock out just wanted to give you a closer look of the uh, you know innovator marine filter socks and I'm gonna spray it down with some water but get this uh, tank a little bit clean then this is in its rough stages for sure 
I don't know if I will run a T5 over the system yet. More than likely I will. But for right now, I'm just going to hold out until after the holidays. And then I'll probably go hard and, you know, get everything that I want to do with this tank. For sure, I'd like to add another light. Not sure about uh, T5s or not. And uh, organize my frags for sure. You guys saw the last frag system that I had. The last aquarium that I had, uh, which was the acrylic tank. It was looking sweet. I had several of you guys come over and look at it pick up some frags for me and uh, this one is going to look awesome once I'm done with it. Uh, this stuff I got at Petco it's just uh, filter floss. I'm going to go ahead and change it out and go ahead and clean up my uh, my tank and make it clean again. I like this stuff because it's cheap. When you're done you don't have to rinse it out. You just throw it away and a little bag like this will last you quite a bit. Um, by the end of this video, I am going to go ahead and stick my nano pump that I got from Reef Breeders. Um, it's a controllable pump and it works really good. It's going to fit this tank perfectly, I think. Be enough flow for my frags and keep uh, everything looking a lot more clean. As you can see, I really haven't uh, had a lot of time. The other thing, the last video we we're talking about what was going on with the 150. A lot of people told me, you know what, you need to do water changes. And uh, I think water changes are a quick solution uh, and it's pretty effective. So for what my tank is doing, since it kind of went through a whole bunch of issues, I am going to go ahead and take your advice and I'm going to do a water change. I'm not going to do a 100 gallon, 100% water change, but I am going to do 25 gallons and then do some more water changes later down on the road because you don't want to do everything all at once and totally shock the system in case something happens. As I am doing the water changes, I am uh, with my siphon, siphoning off all this uh, cyano that I had on my frag rack, anything detritus that I might have had on my corals, I turned everything off. Also on the side, you can see the number 15. I am marking off the uh, you know the gallons with a five gallon bucket so the next one will be 20 and then 25 and as you can see it's already getting close to a quarter of a tank water change and I still got a little bit more to go my corals are popping out my sticks they've taken off since the last time you probably saw it the bubble algae uh, a lot of you guys told me hit it up with the vibrant after this and I check my levels and all that good stuff I'm going to go ahead and start dosing the Vibrant. I actually got the Vibrant from Tim. Uh, and Tim was using it. He let me use it from the last time that I was having issues. So I'm going to go ahead and properly dose my tank with it. You know, I'm going to start off with the half the recommended dose. I never start off with the full dose. And then from there, I'm going to we'll keep track and see if that bubble algae actually works. Or should I say if the Vibrant actually works in killing that bubble algae and making it clear. That'll be sweet if it's if that's all you have to do because you know what you won't have to manually remove it. I still am gonna go ahead and manually remove it. And the stuff that I can't get to, let's see if the vibrant works and uh, kills it. Another thing that I suggest that you guys use when you do water changes is a hose with a siphon on there. Tell you a quick story. Uh, when I broke down my 180, well actually when I set up my 180, I set it up with sugar fine sand. I thought it looked awesome, you know, but the problem was it was blowing all over the place. It was covering up my corals because the power heads were blowing up the sugar fine sand all over the place. Plus I had a rasp. And so the day came where I finally decided to take the sugar fine sand out. Now, my idea to take it out was to siphon it out with a hose. I got that salt water all in my mouth. And that stuff messed me up for a good week, week and a half, just, you know, having a diarrhea and throwing up. It was nasty. So don't do that. Make sure you have a siphon and never suck on that salt water from your tank. Something else that, that I want you to notice is check out this bucket. You can see that the water in it is yellow. Uh, that's a good way to tell if you need to polish your water up with some carbon. 
actually haven't been using any carbon on this tank. I have a whole bunch of carbon, but I'm going to go ahead and use it now um, that I'm getting my tank in order and things like that. Make sure you use those clips. Get yourself an MJ, zip tie it with a long hose, and make sure you use those clips. You can get them at Lowe's for a dollar, so that way if anything happens, you won't be running around with water falling out all over the tank because, you know, all you know have to do is have a uh, pet knock it over, knock the hose over, and you got water all over your floor. Trust me, this comes with years and years of experience. You know, you just stick something there to hold your, your hose in place. And before you know it, something's knocked it over and water's all over the place. And a good example is these timers. I have uh, timers on my pumps. You hit the feed mode and all that good stuff. And before you know it, 10 minutes is up. And then your water pumps start kicking on and spraying all over the place. And had I not had this uh, hose clamped down... I have water blowing like this all over the place. Plus, I have water on my floor. It's pretty cool to watch these pumps blow all that water. But I'm going to go ahead and hit these in feed mode. Which because I'm not really worried about it right now. Thanks to that clamp. So, I just want to say thanks for all the advice. Everybody pretty much coming down to a consensus that I need to do the water changes. Water changes will kind of keep things in balance. Get the nutrients out and kind of restore the levels naturally in the salt and uh, i'm gonna let you guys know how it goes i'll let you know what my levels are in the next video and we're gonna go ahead and finish up this water change so i'll catch you on the next one make sure you like subscribe and you guys take care